Hi, my name's John Pratchett with Kit Plus, and we've kindly been sent two items to review from PTZ Optics. First is this PTZ Optics 12 times NDI camera. And in another video, we're gonna be looking at this, the brand new PTZ Optics Superjoy. So make sure you check that out as well. First of all, let's have a look at what's in the box that uh, the camera comes in. Obviously a nice regular box. Let's open it up and this is what we get. So the obligatory manual, need that. Um, power cable, obviously you'll get the power cable relevant to the country that you are in. Set of batteries, which I'm guessing is gonna be for a remote control. Yep, and lo and behold, a fully functional remote control. Uh, we have the power block and we have this which looks like an RS-232 cable for remote control if you needed it. Under here, nicely packaged. Let's take this out. So this is the 12 times camera. Um, we know it's the NDI version on the back. It says NDI HX, but it's not restricted to NDI. Uh, we also have on the back here, uh, we have an HDMI output, uh, 3G SDI output, uh, USB, I'm not sure what that is. We'll find that out later. Uh, RS-232, which is obviously what this cable's for in and out, so you can pass through. Uh, an RS-485 port for uh, control as well. Selector, line input for audio. Looks like we even got a composite video output here as well. And a uh, ethernet port, which is also PoE. So if you have a PoE switch, uh, you don't need to use this. We can power this completely over um, one piece of ethernet cable. So control, power, and signal can all go down the one cable and a on off switch here. Um, nice cover over the lens and we've got a power LED and a standby LED which also act as small tally lights if you need them as well. So here is what comes in the box. Now let's go and have a look at how we can set this up and get it working with vMix. So now that we've unboxed the camera, uh, let's have a look at how we can quickly get this working with vMix. Now I'm not gonna go in depth on this. There are lots of videos out there that can show you all the, uh, the nitty gritty of how to do this, but this shows you how easy it is to get this camera uh, out of the box and connected to vMix. So show you what I've got here. I've got my laptop set up uh, running the latest version of vMix, which is version 24 as of the time of recording. Um, and I've got a big screen here so you can see what the camera sees. And just behind the screen, I've got a network switch which gives us power over ethernet. So we can just use one cable now to power and control our camera. So let's do that. So here it is. At the back, we have our uh, ethernet port just here. So we're gonna plug our cable into this. Like that. And we also have a on off switch here. I'll switch that on in a minute because first things I wanna do is take the lens cap off. We don't wanna be holding this when it's trying to move. So we take our lens cap off and we can switch it on. As soon as it's switched on, you can see it goes through a quick diagnostics. And now what we wanna do is add this onto vMix. So once it's connected to the network, uh, it will get an IP address automatically. If it doesn't, then you have to go into the menu settings, the web interface on here, and tell it to connect automatically and get an IP address. You can do that by going to a default IP that this has. It's in the manual. Uh, it's very step-by-step. -step. Basically, you get your laptop on the same IP range as this, change it to dynamic, reset everything, plug it back in, and you should be good to go. So that's how this is set up at the moment. This will be getting an IP address from our network automatically. And obviously our laptop has got an IP address as well. So as we look here, here is vMix. What we are now going to do is add our camera. So on vMix, it's really easy. We click on add input, and then we have an option for NDI slash desktop capture. 
as soon as we click on it, we will see any of the NDI sources on the network. Obviously at the moment we have just the one and there it is, there is our PTZ camera. So we select that, click on OK. And here it is now as an input. And what you'll be able to see, if I cut this to the big screen, is there we go, you can see part of the room that we're in. Now what we also want to do is make sure that we can control this camera as well. So as you know, the camera comes with a remote control, which would allow us to move the camera around. But ideally, we'd like to control it via uh, vMix or some other device. Obviously, we've got the SuperJoy we'll look at in the other video. But in this instance, let's just um, get vMix controlling the camera for us. So all we need to do is click on the little cog next to the icon. And then we click on, I'll see it just there, the PTZ option on the left-hand side. Now, because it's a PTZ optics camera, uh, vMix realizes that and sets everything automatically for you. Uh, and this is one of the few cameras that this works with. So you can see it instantly knows that it's a PTZ optics camera. It's seen its IP address. So all we have to do is click connect. There we go. And what that does is then allows us to, within this menu here, we can move the camera around and we can set default positions. Again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this, but we can create different positions for the camera to go to and then we can click on those positions and the camera will automatically go to them. Um, another little trick that we have with the PTZ Optics camera and with vMix is that we can use, if you have one, something like an Xbox controller. So we can just plug that in and you'll see that we have full control, zooming out, moving left, tilt up, there you go, there's our camera off, <laughs> zooming out, moving around, all with a simple Xbox controller. And this is how easy it is to get a PTZ Optics camera connected to vMix. You can literally plug it in, it will see it on the network, you can add it as an input, and you can control it and set up as many presets as you want in vMix. Definitely worth having a try. One of the benefits of a PTZ Optics camera is the ease of use with these cameras and vMix.